let's talk about finding simple interest. The formula for finding simple interest is I equals PR times T. Each of these letters in this formula stands for something. Let's discuss what they stand for. I is going to stand for the interest, which we are usually looking for. The P is the principal amount borrowed or invested. The R is the rate. We will usually see this as a percentage, so we are going to change the percent to a decimal. And the time is T, and we usually see this in years. Let's look at some examples. Caitlin invested $5,000 at a rate of 12.5% for five years. So the principal amount is 5,000. 12.5% is the rate, and we need to change that to a decimal by moving the decimal place two places to the left, which makes it 0.125, and our time is five years. So we simply plug this into our calculator. So the interest would be 3,125. For our next example, you invested $8,000 at a rate of 6% for one year. So here, $8,000 is the principal amount because it's the amount you invested. 6% was our rate, so we moved our decimal two places to the left and added our decimal point times one. So again, we plug this into the calculator. So our interest here would be $480. Let's look at the next example. Sarah took out a loan for $15,000 at a rate of 3.5% for 25 years. What is the total amount she will pay on her loan? Total is capitalized here because we're going to do something a little bit different. First, we're going to find the interest just like we have on the two previous problems. $15,000 is our principal amount. 3.5 was our percent, so we changed it to a decimal, and our time was 25 years. So we plug that into our calculator, and this gives us our interest. Since it asked us for the total amount that they will pay on the loan, we would then add our principal amount plus our interest to get our total. So we can simply add this to get a total payment of $28,125. For our last example, you invest $1,500 at a rate of 6%. How much interest have you made after nine months? I want to show you this example because it discusses nine months. We look at time in terms of years for these, so we need to figure out how to change nine months into terms of years. So for this one, 1,500 is our principal amount. 6% as a decimal is 0 0.06. And here we have a fraction. So since we were talking about nine months, there are 12 months total in the year. So we just simply put nine over 12 to multiply that for our terms of years. So then we plug this into our calculator. And if you have a multi-view calculator, you can use the fraction button and that will give us 67.5. If you do not have the multi-view calculator, you can change this to a decimal and then use the multiplication method. As a final review, to find simple interest, use the formula I equals PRT, in which the I stands for interest, the P stands for the principal amount borrowed, the R is the rate, and the T is time in years. Thank you.